So you grew up like right in Newburgh? Grew up in the town of Newburgh. In the town of Newburgh. Yeah. yeah. We used to go to the skate park out there when I was a kid. The one by the Newburgh uh, Skate Park by the the old roller roller skating rink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brother really goes there. Used to go there. Yeah, that was a good time. Really into skating and stuff. Were you? Uh, did you do art like all through high school and like when you were little and like? All the time as a kid, doodled. Never really paid attention in class when I was a kid. So I thought if I could draw my way out of that eight hours, <laughs> you know, I could get something out of it. But it caught up to me later on. Yeah. You know? I knew I should have studied and stuff, but. The process of it, you know, but I, ne I never really liked uh, drawing realistically or drawing from people. I always thought it was great to see what come out of your head. Yeah. Just to let it go. And then later on, come up with some story about it. But yeah. never actually have it in the beginning. Like, okay, I want to make a whole universe, this and that. You know, whatever happens, happens. Kind of. Yeah. The freestyle aspect of, of your work is really, uh, I think it's intimidating to some people because a lot of people are uncomfortable working that way. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like a lot of people want to have a plan, but I think the kind of work that comes out when you don't, right. it's like so amazing. Like, you know, I mean, Sacred Union, you know, I mean, you were telling me you sort of started sort of just kind of doing some studies on one sheet of paper. It started actually at the top, just with the frog, just messing around, see what a frog would look like transformed into a telescope and a flower. And then I was like, all right, since it's already hitting the edge, let me add another panel, see where it goes. Yeah. And then it started, you know, becoming faces within faces. And then I was like, all right, let me get a composition of a human, put it on there. It looked like a woman. Everything was going with this, uh, you know, really natural, earthbound. And then it just kept going. A lot of it, what I was listening to, interviews that, you know, going through evolution and... Um, you were listening to like you were listening to like interviews and like uh, NPR type stuff about a science. A lot of science, a lot of things that a lot of times I don't know what they were talking about when it gets so scientific with it, but it goes through a lot with the cosmos and yeah. um, even more current times with the government and this and that. How we just kind of trying to get rid of this, making everything city like yeah. conspiracies. All these little things play a big part of this piece. Yeah, you know, and then. After that, once I got the idea where I was going to top, the bottom just kind of fit. Mother Earth, Father Time. He's trying to gain uh, wisdom from her, trying to not control everything. Yeah. We can't go out through our whole lives thinking, you know, we have control, we can figure everything out. It's very spontaneous. Yeah. So. It's great. I mean, you know, when I, when I, when people look at it and they're just like, just amazed at the detail and like the, the technique and everything but when I start to tell them you know just this simple mother nature into father time and they see it and they get it right away and it just blows their mind yeah it's really really great this is kind of a newer piece for you right and the and this I mean you've been working in this style for a while but you know this real sort of freestyle aspect mm -hmm. where it's sort of doing working in panels and um, this this style the sort of uh, organic morphing of things um, sort of really started playing with that in the nine minute series, right? The nine minute series where it originally started, where I had a more of a center point of just a profile of a face and it just transforming it. You know, because if I started with nothing at all, then it would have just been very abstract and would have looked like anything. So a lot of it is like, okay, you see the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Just that reference there, you signify, like, okay, it's a face, and the rest it just goes somewhere else. But. Explain the nine minute series to me just a little bit. Alright, so. real quick, it goes off with the holding your breath on the water for nine minutes, which humans have never been possibly able to do. That's the world record, it's like just under nine minutes or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it was actually uh, David Blaine did 8.5 minutes, also Houdini. Yeah. To, and what would happen at the ninth minute? Will we transform into something else? Another kind of consciousness? Will we see something we can't even explain. Like, but there's things here that you can recognize, like a hawk, a maze, uh, sort of like a train, you know, so the hawk's wings, elephants, you know, things that you see in regular life, but as you go further in the seconds, like this is actually 9.1, 9.2, and up there is 9.3 and 9.0. So the last one, nothing's recognizable. Yeah. And then, Whatever happens, the tenth minute, eleventh minute, yeah, yeah. dimension, same thing. That's great. So, 
where, where do you think your work's going after this? I mean, there's a, you know, obviously some, some a lot of nature themes in this your last two pieces. Yeah. Um, do you see pushing that that idea? Yeah, I'm trying to get out of Earth eventually. You're trying I'm to get out of Earth. Out into the cosmos where everything is going to be in space, and then to another dimension, and I'm not sure where it's going to go from there, but yeah, I eventually want to transport myself out of here. Yeah. But right now it's just a study of, you know, where we're living right now. You started inside inside your head, then you're going to Earth, and then doing the best to get the hell out of here. Let's get out of here. Yeah. yeah. We're. Uh, just get out there as far as you can go. Yeah, how we got here in a lot yeah. of ways, you know, where it took us, because we landed here, now where do we actually come from? You know, where does the spirit leave after this place? Yeah. Maybe it comes back, who knows, but it's just the process that's interesting. Yeah. You know, see where it goes. Like, there's a lot of musical references, crop circles, all the mysteries of, you know, yeah. how we got here kind of thing. Cool, man. Well. Um, thanks for talking to me. I think your work's amazing. I'm so happy to have it in, in our gallery, and uh, I know you're going to go on to do amazing things. And uh, I can't wait to see the next next round of work. Yeah, thank, thanks for showing this. Yeah, yeah really appreciate it. All right, Joe. Thank you so much.